What's up fellow YouTube artists and aspiring artists? It's Mike here with Aristotle Custom Spray Paint Art. Hope you're all safe and sound in quarantine, self-isolation, or practicing social distancing. You're probably all going crazy with boredom. So what better time to check out what you've created during this downtime? It's been a while since I've done one of these Reddit review videos. Today we're doing just that. We're checking out your submissions over on the Aristotle subreddit. If you're new to the channel but not new to spray paint art, you got something to share with the Aristotle community pop on over to the R Aristotle subreddit and I'd love to take a look at what you've created with spray paint. Thanks so much to all of you who've supported the channel. I've surpassed 30,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome in my opinion. You know, here's hoping the channel keeps growing and I thank you all for your continued support. If you've really benefited from this channel, if you've picked up tips and tricks that have helped you be a more successful artist, consider popping on over to Patreon. That is the spot where you can support the channel. A little monetar monetary donation, a little money. Helps me buy spray paint, helps me keep these videos coming and really helps uh, you know keep things in motion. Without further ado, there's a lot of submissions on the subreddit. I'm not gonna get to them all, but I'm gonna take a quick glimpse through and give some praise and feedback. Thanks so much for submitting. Let's dive straight into today's video. First up here for my boy Conceal, we have a really nice kind of Northern Lights uh, titled Over the Bridge. Lots of different techniques in there. It's a bit of a mix between a space scene, a landscape, and you got some of that city kind of bridge etching technique in there. Really good job, solid composition. And I always love to see what you're making, Conceal. Thanks for the submission. Conceal with another one here. You got a pirate ship in the works. Looks really good. Indie AFK going through the growing pains of stencil work. Uh, submitting this cool, I don't know my Star Wars very well. It's not Dog the Bounty Hunter. Boba Fett, nice work. Maybe the Mandalorian, I don't know. I'm not a Star Wars guy. D Maiden has a customizable uh, kind of I love us name painting. Uh, so check them out. Looks like they're selling some stuff on Etsy. Artist Portacle painting on some fabric. Nice little kind of oasis scene there. It's Canvas coming in hot. Make sure to check out It's Canvas uh, channel. They are a Patreon supporter and we want to spread some love. So I'll put the name right here. Also a big shout out, shout out to my boy Jax for his continued support. Uh, appreciate all of you. Thanks so much. Re really cool work here from Renee Adriana. Uh, kind of like a tree of life coming out of the top of the planet Earth here. Bowden with a really effective, pretty stunning Dark Side of the Moon painting. Uh, I've never successfully like done this painting. Uh, I think you did those the rainbow part of the spectrum and that line work is really, really clean. So good job there. Uh, jealous of this one. I'd like to have that on my wall back here somewhere. Mrs. Noxus. It doesn't have a name, but it is beautiful. Really nice planet scene. Lots of beautiful colors and really nice piece of work. Thanks for the submission. Approved. Approved. Midwest comic man. So this is it, this is my life now. I was excited as a kid when uh, he got his switch when I opened these. Uh, definitely, once you get into this art form, you're gonna be seeking out different paints and crazy stuff to try out. I know that feeling. I'm excited to see what you come up with with your new paints. Congrats, this is your life now. So you better submit on the subreddit lots. Tanko with a really nice kind of monochromatic almost Japanese cherry blossom tree unicorn scene. Really digging the vibe of this one. Very like fantasy-esque and uh, yeah, really like it. D good parallel. D good, you got a very cool style. Really like these, thanks for sharing. I dig it. D good, crossing connections. How to use an off color from the seven primaries. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever the experiment was, a really cool effect. Uh, probably forced you outside the box a little bit. You did a really good job in this foliage. Really good job kind of creating a theme with these colors, and I like it a lot. We got that uh, paralleled scene under black light. Weather Mage with a nice little valley waterfall scene. Uh, really like the scope of this. Ben posting his trial run, it looks like, for his stencil that he's been working on. Uh, maybe the result will be further on in the subreddit, the final result, but like what you got going on so far. Here we go, kind of see the point of reference for this one. 
Zach submitting. I haven't seen you submit before. I could be mistaken, but thanks for sharing with us. Uh, looks like maybe just a little bit of co more contrast for the, the planets might make this thing pop a little bit more, but I like what you're hinting at here. So keep at it and keep sharing those results. And a nice howling wolf scene, really digging that. Did a little attempt at some kind of highlighted etching on that wolf. Make things pop a little bit. Do you good with a, a surfer wave scene? Waves are hard, I don't know. I, I haven't had too much success, personally. Nibs with a winter night scene, liking how that's coming. Need a little bit of shading on that planet still, my friend. But other than that, it's looking solid. Maybe a little bit more definition on those bottom trees, but I'm liking the aesthetic and the kind of feeling that one gives. Nibs with another snowy caps. It's a little bit more flushed out. I like this one. The trees uh, making a little bit more sense and look a little bit more complete in this one. Thanks so much as always, Nibs. Appreciate your sharing and keep at it. Bonks with the peacock stencil. I like the gradient he used in this one. Uh, definitely gives a pretty cool effect and uh, definitely a creative stencil. Good job. Artist Portico with another fabric painting using whatever materials they have available. Nibs rocking some vinyl records. It's a really cool effect. Records are great. You'll see a couple on my wall here. Uh, they hold spray paint really well. So if you guys are looking for a creative canvas, they got a little hole in the middle. Just pop a nail on your wall, toss it up there, make great little gifts. Uh, let's play around with some, some vinyl records. Just don't paint on the good music. Pricks with a walk of two brothers scene. I like the vibes here. Kind of tells a little bit of a story. Maybe two young brothers out adventuring or something. I like it. There's another kind of rendition uh, and taking this stencil theme a little bit further as well. Looks like Bonks is Bonks with a little space and mountain scene here. Conceal almost breaks the rules of spray paint art here. Use nothing but a brush, but it looks like he sprayed the paint from the can. So that's, I give you a pass, but that was almost illegal. Almost. It looks good though. Conceal working on those ships. Keep sharing those, Conceal, like it. Conceal, this is really cool. This is really kind of like a fantasy scene with almost a floating space city. I'm digging this one. Conceal with a space phoenix. Conceal's single-handedly keeping the subreddit alive. I appreciate all the submissions. For those of you who haven't submitted in a while, get on it, okay? Conceal, you get props. Good job. Bonks with a, looks like a football, soccer inspired piece. Uh, writing leaves a little bit to be desired. I, I will say you really got to work on that writing. If it's going to be the back of a jersey or a flag, you know, that, that printing on there has got to be pretty tight. Look at maybe stencilizing your letters. That might help a little bit. You got to dial that in a little bit further, uh, although it's a good first effort. This is pretty cool. Renee Andrea, uh, Adriana, sorry if I'm butchering your names. Uh, really, really cool painted log, it looks like. Uh, pretty stunning effect with this one and a really beautiful scene to boot. Thank you so much for all your submissions. Keep them coming. S Maze, Smaze, whatever you want to call them, are putting out some stunning spray paint art. Uh, I know they're doing a paint pouring technique. It looks like there's two artists involved in this process. This one is awesome. Uh, that's one of the coolest planets I think I've ever seen in spray paint art. I really love the weird, crazy galaxy you got going on and those soft clouds at the bottom. What more can you ask for? Conceal with another ship. This is the top ship of the week for you, my friend. Very good job. You're definitely honing in on that. Uh, and I like that result a lot. I've never painted a ship. Maybe I gotta try. Brene Adriana painting these awesome kind of wood edges. Keep those coming. I'm loving to see this outside the box creativity, whether it's what you're painting or what you're painting on. It's pretty impressive, so I really appreciate all your creative stuff. Conceal with a Mandalorian project. Conceal, you've been busy. This is really cool. This is, is really well done and effective. I know it's going to get some love because of that little baby Yoda in there too. Jax, my man. This thing is so cool. Uh, I kind of get how it was created. I can work myself through that, I think. But you did a really effective job with the lines, really effective job um, with those subtle details and how the colors kind of intertwine. This is a cool style and very, very worth exploring further. So thanks so much for the submission, brother. Keep at it. I know you're trying to get up to get some painting done. 
and I hope you do because I always like to see what you come up with. This one is truly one of my favorites. Um, I don't know, it reminds me of almost like Tool album art almost. Uh, really subtle with those blues and the bright, vibrant white lines, the little dots. Uh, just super cool kind of sci-fi abstract piece. And another submission here, I'm not sure if you painted that or if you just saw it on the wall and decided to share. I like the way it looks. Extra props if you painted it yourself. Conceal with another Mandalorian painting, maybe the same one in the dark. Really like it, kind of a brooding vibe. Lexi with their third spray painted piece, but first free handed one, haven't done the eyes, any thoughts? I like it, definitely see the, the dog there, but uh, I love how kind of colorful and abstract it is. And I'm curious to see where you take it. I don't even know if I'd add eyes. I think I'd just like subtly hint at it, but pretty cool painting. Weather Maj playing with an asteroid belt. This is a really cool effect. I've seen others do this. I've never got to it myself, but I like it a lot. Props to you. Bonks with a pretty cool stencil piece here. Your stencil works on point, man. Good work. Whatever keeps you going in these times. I know there's a message to that painting. Uh, da, da, da. Really cool. Journey of a Dalek. I don't know the show either, but whatever's going on here, I like it. I like your work with those asteroids and that stencil stuff. Renee Adriana's got the landscapes on point. A lot of mystical landscape pieces from you this week or this month. I guess it's been some time since we've last done this. I'm sorry, but I haven't been working. Team Clark's really cool, bright, vibrant planet. Looks like you may have a misshapen planet stencil. Uh, it's very subtle and kind of hard to notice. And I think this is a really effective kind of monochromatic piece. Thanks so much for sharing. Spray paint art by me, not me. This person, that's their name on Reddit. Uh, really cool kind of child pulling some balloons down, loving that pink color scheme. And this is really clean stencil work, good job. Spray paint art by me with another landscape. Looks nice, very nice. Mrs. Noxus, if I'm saying that wrong, correct me because I think you're gonna have some further featured art on this channel at some point. Love this, I don't think we've had a guitar yet on the subreddit. I've never painted a guitar, but I've always wanted to. And I think you did a killer job with pulling this together. Uh, really awesome. I'd love to see it with all the paint peeled or the tape peeled off and like strings on it and whatnot. So share an updated pic of that. But I'm really digging this one. It's one of my faves of the week. Fist the Lord with a bit of a summary on 2020, I guess. You got some Tiger King going on. You got some, I guess, coronavirus. Sure. Stay safe out there, guys. If Rona doesn't get you, the Tiger King might. Whoa, Conceal, really cool. It is really cool, good job. Artist Portico, getting out of the normal spray paint art stuff with an Aquarius painting, pretty cool. Ooh, Conceal, another nice one. I love the sunset landscape. Diddy. Monks with some Tinkerbell vibes to brighten your day. Here's one inspired by one of the previous tutorials. Very nice job. I like your galaxy more than I like my galaxy from that video. Uh, thanks so much for painting along and sharing. Nibs, really nice day at the beach, my man. Really cool. Uh, like those that subtle cloud work and a very good use of color. Another one, beach night. You just need to shade the plants, man. I'm begging you. So everything else is super, super clean, but if you had that little bit of a gradient of shading, it puts it over the top. But this is very nice still. Just do a little shade, just a little shade for me. Oh, cool. Nibs with a sun over moon cut out piece. I like that. Dino Joe coming in. Is that like exotic Joe? Joe exotic? I like that purple, blue, purple, yellow, orange, red vibe. Joe Dino at it again, doing some quarantine painting. Jose San with a Joker painting, awesome stuff. I got one too, different Joker. This is probably a better Joker. Thanks for sharing, man, it looks great. Dino Joe, chewing through some spray paint artwork. Pricks in here with a standing tall tree, really cool tree actually. A uh, very cool space cave, and I'm liking the style in this one. 
Perks with another one. Nice sunset wolf. Ooh, this one's great. Look at this contrast work. Very vibrant. Uh, very cool aesthetic. Very like 80s vibe. Neon colors. I like it. Dino Joe rocking out a little bit more. All right, I've kind of come to the top of where I went down to. Maybe I'll review a little bit further back in another video. Maybe I'll sort, you know, in a coming video by the hottest posts we've ever had and go through and review those. If you guys are watching and enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Give me a comment down below which painting featured in today's video was your favorite. And if you have some awesome spray paint art that you want to share, go on over to the R Aristotle subreddit. I'd love to see what you're creating and be able to review it on the channel here. So until next time, guys, stay safe out there or in your house follow the protocol and hopefully we all get through this stuff uh definitely hope to see a few more videos come out in the next little bit i'll catch you guys in the next spray paint art video